Five ways to say no in negotiation. Actually, I would like to split uh, it into two. Three ways how to say no and two ways what happens when you get a no in negotiations. This is an imaginary matriza of two things that matters in negotiation. The substance and the relationship. If you don't care about the relationship and you don't care about the substance, which means you come to me in the market, in the bazaar, you offer me something I don't want. Simple, no. Why? Because I'm not interested. Why? Because I don't want. Davai di svedanya. The second is what happens if you don't care about the substance, but you do care about the relationship. It is important for me to stay in good relationship, but still say no. You have to say it up front. I will tell you, Oleg, sorry, I cannot accept your offer. However, it is very important for me to tell you that I really like you, I respect you, I appreciate our relationship. So you definitely say no to the offer, okay? And you say yes to the relationship. What happens if you do care about the substance and the offer is not good enough, okay? In that case, you say yes, and then the other side is very happy. But then you bring a big however. Oleg, very interesting proposal. Yes, I can accept it if you will give me another 50%. And then what will happen is that you will say the no. And I go home very happy. I said no, but actually you are the one who said the no. A different question is what happens if I offer you something and you said no. Russian negotiation mentality is first of all say niet, but I'm telling my students, turn the niet into pochimu. So if I offer you something and you said moti no, and I ask why, you start to talk, you start to express. The more you talk, the more I learn about what is important to you. Okay? So I will let you talk. I will allow you to express your ideas, your thoughts, maybe your feelings. And then I will be much more smarter in knowing how to address them later. This is, if you want, an expressive, if you come from an expressive behavior. Sometimes you just say no because the offer is not good enough. I will ask why. Tell me more about why not. And then again, you will tell me, Moti, this is not good enough because uh, discount is not big enough. Because I cannot, because I wanted uh, model A and you offer me model B. By asking Pochimu, I will learn again what is really matter for you. And then it's up to me to take the proposal and redesign it or offer you something else. Okay? So these were five ways how to deal with no on the negotiation table.